Hi Tom! Thank you for supporting today's Captain's Blog and being a part of all of this and making it happen. Thank you. What is it? It's... Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's April 16th at 13.10 hours. Can you identify what we're taking apart today? This is a non-video autopsy. We're taking this apart for parts and recycling. Because we can't do anything with the damn thing. So we may as well see what it can do for us. Clean off those. And then start taking apart this assembly here. Everything from there back goes on. It's not often you get to pull apart the transmission from a jet ski, huh? It's one of their new fancy side-by-side -side setups. You're pretty. Hmm. I do try. Keeping that nose. That one's next. So today is a day of high voltage fun. Friday was big cleaning. And I have to give Batman and Joey time to recover the MDH from the giant pile of schmoo that I buried it in. Well, back Saturday was big cleaning too. Just a little bit. It was it was more consolidation. Do you need that? Yeah. For what? So we start taking these apart. Is that the right size? Mm -hmm. That's funny, they're both fat. Ooh. Really? Huh. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I know. It's, you, you, you get used to just being in your groove. And, uh, Whenever you're ready, we can flip this up on the flash it up. Oh, we're good. I'm trying to get those covers off. Let's and get these guys out. No, that just holds the fan on. Well, the guy didn't have to force it to put it in there, so I didn't have to force it to take it out, so I'm probably doing something wrong. Hey, take what? these two off. Unless the guy actually did it. It goes all the way down back here. Yeah, down the back. It might be attached. 
here. That's very possible. Is it also attached to the rail? Doesn't look like it. Off here, please. Um, you want to come out? Go there. Where's that little wrench? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Paul. Hello. What you got going on? Well, Batman fixed me up. Did he? Yep. Well, this will do. You keep saying that, but you keep having to go back. Well, he's got to fix me up over and over. Apparently, I'm a lot of fish. You're a needy bitch, Mr. Kidwell. Ah, uh, that's the truth. Silicone wires. What do we choose from? Huh. Uh, that doesn't look good. Cool thing. Look at it. Close. That's dangerous. Use your words. Where's my cutters? I'll take them. Really? This is why nobody likes you. Some of you may have noticed in watching the blog that Mr. Kidwell is not really often here. Just for like, oh get away from me. Just for like a, uh, a couple weeks a month, or a couple days a month. And the reason for that is nobody really likes him. Now, we love Mr. Kidwell. No, we used to, and then he started stealing all of my cutters. And that's when we decided, we don't really like it. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm just gonna get this guy to this guy. Go, go ahead. I'm flexible. You say that, but I've trained with you. Oh, well, there's your problem. Okay. Now these, these are gonna make some cool lamps. Hard to thump. Why is that? Look at it. Why is that going to be hard to thump? I couldn't tell you. It looks like a little bit of mesh to me. Because it's too small to fit in the thing. Oh. It's not long enough to reach from side to side. True. We can do it. We have special setups to be able to thump tiny things, but it's a pain in the butt. We've thumped cell phones yet. Huh? 
So we, so we have some cell phones, hard drives. So there's a thing right here. This assembly yeah. is about to fall out. Does it move? No? Alright. But you also have more screws. On top? Side. Oh, there's side screws? Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, I'll just take out all the bottom ones. This is about to move. Come here. Over there. This thing? Yeah. It's about to move. Ready? That's the thing you said not to touch. Did it move? Yeah. Touch it. Did it come out? Not quite, oh, but so that's because it's attached to the assembly. Alright. You got... You disconnect the wires. Just unplug stuff. Alright, hold on. So this is actually attached to the whole assembly with the side screws. do this, we're going to go low. This is the uh, CRF, ampli it's CRF amplifier or something. Traveling wave. Things are much more mobile now. Okay, so this. Oh, there's multiple layers to it. Joy, okay. Okay, so theoretically this. Anything we put like, big burn marks on it. Where's the? What are you looking for? He has my cutters. That's what I got for you. The best camera is the one you have. Right. Yeah. I assume you don't want the caps. No. Nope. Got lots of caps. That's trash. Which is sad because that's really cool. What is this guy? Power supply. Oh, that's cool. And 
and this is the danger danger part Where's the little island? Uh, probably that one. Yeah, that's it. Get the fuck It'll make your life a lot easier. My life is awesome. You have a deep love for that screwy gooseneck tool. Yeah, well, I don't get it. Of course, the deep love is there because it gets it done, you know, three times faster. But what would I know? I just used to take things apart, put them back together again professionally for like four years. Yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know if you're aware of this, but if you want to cite that as your reference, there's like, I don't know hundred different videos of me taking things apart professionally on television, teaching people how things work for way more than four years. And oh yeah, you can prove that fact because there's video of it. Yeah, but you didn't it's called it the for, Equipment Autopsy Series. Yeah, you didn't do it for 10 hours a day for four years. I did. How do you know that? <laughs> do you have any idea how many hours she has suffered through of me? I mean, she suffered around for hours. Look at that. Look at that. Sexy. I don't like it. What are you doing? You want them out there? What are you, what are you doing? I thought you want them out there. I do. It's, you do that with your fingertips right there. Just boom. I got the whole thing. I'm talking about this. What's wrong with those? Are they bothering you? I don't care. not bothering me. Why are you being like that? It's great. It's beautiful. It's going to be a lamp. I think it'd be Looks better. Looks like a lamp. Give it to Jerry. Let him use it as a, as a pipe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. So, Ooh. what? The o ring excited too? It's good quality o rings. Well, yeah. Whenever you have something made by a very it's like, going to be good quality. I was expecting these to be crunchy. Then, you know. This is weird. Huh. You know where you work, right? <laughs> huh. Alright. Take that out. Too small. You're what? Just, you're just flopping around in the hole there. You're used to that. What did you do? I was in the hole first. Well, that's why it's all wonky inside me. Yeah. Cool. yeah. It's also why it's complaining. They do that. Okay, now can we do this by touch? <laughs> oh, hey. Well, that helps. Where's those cutters? Over here. Okay. That'd be nice! Paul. Cutter thief. That's the fun part is while we're fucking around out here, Paul's already got the coil up around him. Is it good? <laughs> we're ready to give it a test and throw the top load on it and see what happens. Grab Taylor, put the top load on it. size of screws on that side that they did on this side. This is easy. Hey, make sure to have the wire going over the top and touching. Make sure you have the end of the secondary winding going over the top and touching. 
Okay. Yeah. Little burn spots there because we did it wrong once. All right. Did you take this out yet? No. What about the one on the back? I haven't taken it out. Because I asked you to. Well, it's not like you I had one job. You told me to go put you the top. You had one job. No, I had two jobs. You told me to go put the top load on that. Which one's more important? Apparently, the top load. Yes. It would also be nice if we had the right size palette. I told you that one was too small. We had a whole conversation. I just put a different palette on there. It wasn't the same one. Two different ones. It wasn't the right size. You got to figure it out yet? Working on it. Is cheering you on right now. I they am super excited. I... The whole internet believes in you. It would be super cool if these weren't like specialty sizes. I don't think any of the T handles the right size. Nope. Awesome. Here that hold. It's way easier. There. All right. I'm gonna lift this up. You're gonna take that, and off you go. Go. Thank you. Hey, Paul. Thank you. Check this out. That's a, that's a fun way to go to prison. Or kill yourself. Find that size, please. It's the same as this one. I've been working on that. Okay. Leave those there for now. Leave these two. Just barely loosen those. Because this is really neat. If you ever come across one of these in the future, do not open it. Okay? Bad stuff inside. NEC, isn't that Ross Perot's company? No, Diebold is Ross Perot's company. That makes sense. Whew! This is still perfectly usable. No, no, I'm not. Okay. Hey. Just, just one key after one. Just one key after one. Later. No, you didn't get this one still. What? Still They're get the this same one. size. Is it? It's supposed to be. Is it? Why would they not have those the same size? Two different things. It seems to be really stupid. Two different, different things. Hey, this is something neat. Watch this. Magnet. Big magnet.
Are you? Ever? Clearly, you've never had. I mean, like I've had some some, some worse experiences. No, this is digging this is, for. This is the worst the time ever. Allen keys. I envy your existence. One of the. If this is your standard. Because I was the one that, I don't think that saved you from that experience when you were trying to masturbate with the belt sander. And if you think this is worse than that. Masturbate with the belt sander. Hey, what he does on his time is his thing. I'm not judging. Clearly, you're just not man enough. Yeah. These are some very nice cells. He tells me 20 grit is the way to go. Okay. Cock rocks. Okay. Cock rocks. These are good cells. What? Those. Maybe four volts each. Oh, those? Yeah. No, they're not. Well, because I'm the guy that took them out of the laptop, and I'm telling you, when you put them all together, they don't work worth a damn. Well, there's other things aside from the batteries, like the circuit card and the sensor that goes with it. There's a temperature probe and things like okay. that. I will run a load test on them, and I will I will get a readout of exactly how many milliamp hours they are and what their resistance is. Cool. So, ah. so uh, do we want to test that tester clock? Yes, we do. So comment if you know what this is. Also comment if you know what happens if you get in deeper than this. I'll give you a hint. It contains beryllium. Thank you for supporting today's captain's blog and being a part of all of this and making it happen. Thank you.